Hello guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this amazing YouTube channel. My name is Enifa. I talk about online jobs and other ways of making money online. But anyway, today I'm going to give you the test for Go transcript. You need to pass this test with a 100% correct mark. If your answers are not correct, you didn't get the 100%, you'll be redirected to the beginning of the page and you start doing the test again. So you need to follow this video closely, don't skip any part so that you will not fail. You need to click those guidelines so that you will know what you are required to do. Guidelines are the syllabus of Go Transcript. For you to become a very good transcriptionist, you need to understand the guidelines and the rules of this transcription company. Without wasting much of your time, let's start doing the test. Those who don't know what is Go Transcript and what you are expected to do at Go Transcript, check the link above or link in the description. It will help you understand this company. What is the correct format of timestamping change of a speaker? The correct format is D because you start by putting timestamping then speaker then followed by a colon. Let's go to number two. What should you do if you cannot identify who exactly is speaking? Use speaker labels, but with a question mark before examples. So you just put a question mark, then followed by a speaker name. Let's move on to number three. Double quotation marks are used for B, um, for internal dialogue C, whenever there is a direct quotation. A is wrong, double quotation marks are not used at all. That is very, very wrong. Now let's move on to the next question, which is question number four. If you can't hear the specific term, you should B, do some research if you cannot find anything. Mark that as inaudible or unintelligible with the specified time so if you want to be a very good transcriber you need to love researching research is part of transcribing let's go to number five a transcriber should italicize a foreign expressions that is very correct b the bible that is wrong then e song titles f tv and radio program so a e and f are correct answers for number five let's go to number six how do repetitions look in full verbatim repetitions look like a i sang then that stroke in the middle i sang a song so the stroke in the middle of b and c they are not the the strokes that we need we just need that small stroke i don't know how to say it now let's move on to number seven how should you transcribe numbers? 1, 9, 10, 100. However, exceptions can be applied to improve readability, money years, measurements, and percentage. Okay, so we have two types of uh, numbers, single digit numbers and multiple digit numbers. 1 to 9 are single digit. We write them in words form. Then 10 to 100 are multiple number digit. We write them uh, in digit as given on top like it's written on top 10 and 100 so number b it's wrong because they said one nine ten thousand ten must be written in digits then thousand in digit so b is already wrong guys let's move on to the next one which is number eight if the audio has no sound what do you do you think like a client, if audio isn't playing for technical reasons, report the file and don't submit. A, put a tag of silence and finish the job. No, A is very wrong. You need to do B. Number nine, what is the correct form of addressing internal dialogues? The correct form is to first put the capital letter at the beginning of the first sentence, followed by a comma, a double hyphen, followed, followed by a capital letter, then at the end of the second sentence, you put a question mark in the double quotation. So A is wrong. There's a small letter. Then B is correct because there's a capital letter followed by a comma after the end of the first sentence, double hyphen, uh, capital letter, followed by the question mark, 
and a double hyphen then the other ones they are wrong let's go to number 10 so guys before i give you answer for number 10 i want you to take this opportunity to give a thumbs up to this video to subscribe so that you get more information about go transcript and more answers to go transcript test so number 10 sounds made not by the person speaking are always on the different line this means the sounds are coming from a different source. So now let's confirm our answers to see if we have passed 100%. So after confirmation, you'll be directed to the page where you are able to do the audio test. As you can see, we passed the test. Now we are ready to do the audio test. But before we do the audio test, we need to understand certain things we are expected by go transcript we are supposed to use the guidelines when we are doing the test we must read and understand that guidelines it will guide us and help us to give corrections where necessary so you are applying for transcriber position at go transcript to become a transcriber, you must do our test job using our guidelines. You need to transcribe the audio below. In other words, you need to type everything that you hear also and don't paste anything. So now we are starting the test. This is a rough draft. The answer is not 100% correct. So you need to make your corrections as well. Good luck. This audio is used for the transcriber test on Go Transcript. Retired former Santa Fe locomotive number 5704 was recently cosmetically restored to its um, eye-catching patriotic mid-70s bicentennial red, white, and blue color scheme. 5704 was uh, one of five of GM's 3600 horsepower SD45-2 locomotives painted in this unique style. These locomotives um, help with the operation of the American Freedom Train, as well as um, special, effect, uh, special events such as the uh, 1976 grand opening of the 50 million buck Barstow classification yard in Southern California. Um, in other railroad news, the uh, complete unmodified LA Railroad, LA Railway streetcar number 665 was delivered to the museum in Paris, California. This car started its service in March 1911 and was retired in 48. A movie mogul 20th Century Fox bought it and immediately put it to good use as a prop in um, such deathless classics as uh, the Keystone Cops Meet the Three Stooges or some such nonsense. Actually, to be honest, I, uh, I couldn't find any actual names of movies the streetcar was in, so I just made that up. I'm not making the next part of it. Um, did you know that the simplest way of designating a railroad curve is trying to get a link to the radio? Um, it's really apparently the actual radio is a shadow. The radio is actually stated to feet, although, as usual, the Brits muddy the waters by stating the radius in chains. One chain equals um, 66 feet, according to them which makes the story of Ebenezer Scrooge and his pal Jacob Barley even more interesting. Um, do you remember when Jacob came to visit Ebenezer? He told him, and I quote, I wear the chain I forged in life. So um, does that mean his chain was 66 feet long? That seems pretty heavy. Um, Dickens didn't say what the chain was made of, but um, you have to assume it was some kind of metal since it rattled a lot. If they'd been made of copper, Jacob would have been a pretty well-off ghost since copper these days is worth a pretty penny, which is ironic since U.S. pennies are made of safe coated with copper, and yet 9 out of 10 people will not even bend over to pick them up off the street. Well, carpe diem is the same thing. I don't know about you, but um, I'd be happy to take any pennies that people might want to give me for free. I mean, you can always do it to a boy and do it to Back in the 70s, though, 70 pennies would have been a pretty good deal, even for people in their 70s. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. After you are done with the test, 
after you made sure that you made the necessary corrections you now send the test for review you just click that button and send your test so here they said you will receive your answer after 60 days and that is wrong you can receive your answer after one to four or five days so guys good luck with this test remember to subscribe like and share my content bye see you next time